Hello everyone. I'm so glad that you can join Miss Anila today. We are going to be reading a book and I have uh, the book right here. It is called Pick, Pull, Snap. And it is about flowers. Look at all these beautiful flowers on the cover page. All right, the book is called Pick, Pull, Snap, Where Once a Flower Bloomed by Lola M. Schaefer, illustrated by Lindsay Barrett George. All right, that's them digging up plants, ready to plant things. The spring sun shines bright. At the trellis, a cool breeze chills noses and shakes free the pollen inside, early white flowers. Deep in the flowers, seeds the size of freckles grow inside a thin green skin. Rains wash the dried flower petals away, and the seeds plump. On a spring day, pick... Handfuls of pea pods from the vines where once a flower bloomed. Look, they're picking pea pods and you can see the shriveled old flowers. Let's turn the page. In the berry patch, bumblebees zigzag from blossom to blossom spreading pollen inside delicate white flowers, no bigger than a fingertip. Deep inside the flowers, hard seeds grow in bits of fruit that form a cluster. The flowers curl and blow away, and in a few weeks, the fruit turns red in the warm sunshine. All right, we have the bee spreading pollen and then the flower growing, and then a fruit forming. On a summer morning, pull ripe raspberries from the bush where once a flower bloomed. Okay, we have all of these raspberries, right? Let's turn the page. In the field, wind waves golden tassels high above heads, and pollen floats through the air to the silks of a flower. Inside the husk, hundreds of pale seeds grow side by side. The silks of the flower shrivel and brown, while the seeds fill with a milky juice. Right, they're getting shriveled, they're turning brown. On a hot summer day, snap! An ear of corn from the stalk where once a flower bloomed. All right, see, she's picking corn. Next page. In the orchard, a honeybee buzzes from tree to tree, flying in and out of blossoms. Its legs brush pollen inside a fragrant pink flower. Deep inside the flower, a small green fruit grows around one seed. The petals fade and drop to the ground. Weeks pass and the fruit, large and sweet, hangs low near passing eyes. Here's the fruit and here is the bee. On a late summer day, twist! A fuzzy peach from the tree where once a flower bloomed. So now we have all of these peaches. Next page. On a sandy hill, yellow blossoms open on knee-high plants spilling soft pollen between their petals. At evening, they close and wilt. 
From the blossoms, pegs grow and push into the soil. Underground, the tips of the pegs become stiff shells, each holding two seeds wrapped in red skins. On a hot summer day, pull hidden peanuts from inside the bush where a flower bloomed. All right, see, now we have all of these peanuts in this bush. All of these peanuts. And the page. In the garden, a bumblebee darts between giant blossoms, entering one after another, scattering pollen inside a yellow flower opened wide. Here we see the bee again and the yellow flowers. Under the flower, flat, smooth seeds grow in a round, hard fruit. The petals droop, and each day the fruit grows bigger and bigger and bigger. On the last day of summer, roll a heavy orange pumpkin from the vine, where once a flower bloomed. Do you see all these pumpkins? All right, how about we count the pumpkins? We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six pumpkins were bloomed. All right, let's turn the page. Now winter winds blow past the empty trellis. Spindly canes, bleached stalks, bare trees, withered plants, and wrinkled vines. But in the spring, plants blossom again. Pollen dusts the inside of flowers, and seeds and fruit begin to grow. On a bright warm day, gather a new harvest where once a flower bloomed. The end. And here's a big kiss from me to you. And a big smile. <laughs> and I will see all of you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.